unlocking AI power with 5G virtualization. What does it really mean and how does it impact your business, but also how does it impact your industry and what use cases will benefit you and how can your organization leverage these type of new developments? Christina Rodriguez, she's the Vice President Platform Group and General Manager Wireless Access Network Division at Intel. And she's here to talk about all new developments in virtualization, but also in AI and in 5G. Welcome, Christina. Thank you, Ronald. Thank you for having me here. You're welcome. Yeah, so 5G virtualization, I think this needs explanation for the audience. So can you elaborate on what it is and why it is so important? Absolutely. It all starts with the amount of data that we are seeing getting generated today and even more in the future. When we think about what is happening with 5G and what is coming with the build out of the edge, uh, artificial intelligence, the amount of new use cases that uh, exist today, but are also that will even come more in the future, all that needs a network that is capable of dealing with that amount, uh, amount of data. And the network that we have today wasn't created, wasn't designed for that. So we have to bring new technology, new ways to do things, new architectures that, that, that can deal and can enable and can unleash the full potential of 5G. And that's when we start talking about virtualization. So virtualization is about running functions that before were running on hardware, running in on software. That's uh, virtualization, and, and you see now the deployments of virtual network functions and cloud-native network functions that are going to do all kinds of things that, again, were, doing, were, doing before in, uh, were being done before in, uh, in, in fixed uh, in functions in uh, hardware, um, uh, well, hardware equipment. And uh, with that, we're creating a software-defined infrastructure that will be able to uh, dynamically configure the traffic, allocate resources, uh, just, just bring in more performance, more efficiency, better management, better operations. And that's when we're talking about, about, about with the virtualization, running all those uh, RAN radio access network functions in uh, our Intel Xeon uh, server uh, scalable processors. Very clear. And you were mentioning already data and AI. AI has an impact on, on everything where data is created, so also on the networks. Can you explain how AI gets integrated into the networks that are being transformed? Oh, yes, that's, that's fascinating. And we're going to see that more and more. We're seeing a lot of that, a lot of innovation happening in the industry right now, but we'll, we'll see it more and more. Here's what happened, right? What, what is this about? So with, with AI, what we are able to do is you basically, you have all the, da the data, you collect all the data. Now I'm talking about the network data, how the network is performing, uh, the uh, allocation of resources, real-time data per uh, performance, real data that is happening. You collect that and you use that real-time data to train your models, right? And with those intelligent mo models, now you can do the inferencing for the new data. And that's how you add intelligence into the network. And now that allows you to do configuration all the way through the network, how you're going to allocate, allocate resources better. How can you do energy savings? How can you predict the bandwidth? You do all that and all this other. Now you have an intelligent RAND that is much more efficient, better total cost of ownership, much more prepared for all the use cases that we want to address. And to make this a little bit more concrete, um, I would like to know what applications will require 5G and AI. Can you elaborate on this? Well, any application can benefit from for this, right? From from this, from AI. You take, for example, a video, right? You can manage your resources better, your bandwidth better, uh, your radio resources even. Video, you can avoid jitter, for example, and have better quality, better quality in video. Any any application, any anything, for example, that requires very low latency, all the ultra reliable low latency use cases, all of those you can apply artificial intelligence and again configure your your network in a much uh, in a much better way, in an intelligent way, and then and then do. Uh, 
utilize your resources uh, more, more efficiently. So it's, it's really anything that requires KPI networks, network management and operation, uh, efficiency on the spectrum, uh, uh, in the whole, anything running on the ground will benefit from this uh, artificial intelligence. And you know, talking about these benefits and looking at these use cases of AI and 5G and virtualization, what impact will they have on the businesses itself? Well, imagine that. First of all, the possibility to reduce costs, right? Because now when you have this intelligent net run, intelligent network, you don't have to statically over um, a dimension your, your network, right? Over provision your, your network. You also, for example, can have, you have an opportunity as an operator, you have an opportunity to have uh, SLAs, uh, different SLAs that could bring different, different uh, revenue generating business. But you have just more possibilities uh, to, to and, and, and especially, to, to play with, and you have also a better total cost uh, of ownership at the end of the day because you are being more efficient with uh, with your resources. Yeah, so it's definitely a development to keep an eye on. Thank you, Christina, for joining our show and providing these great insights on AI, 5G, and virtualization. Thank you, Ronald. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And for the audience, thank you for watching again, and we're looking forward to seeing you next time.